What is up guys, Batman here, and I decided to do another video. And in this video, they're going to be covering the top 10 worst DC supervillains. So let's get this video started. So number 10, we have Polka Dot Man. Mm, I, I, I don't really know why they put this villain into DC. I think it's just because maybe, I don't know, maybe because someone at... WB liked polka dots. I don't know. Anyway, moving on to number nine, Signal Man. Now I know why you guys might be wondering why did I put him on this list. Signal Man's a great villain. He could, you know, he tricks Batman into thinking, "Oh my God, there's actually a crime investigation when there's not." You know, but. I don't think he's the worst character, but if you guys think he's the worst, then, you know, that's that. Let's move on to number eight. We have the Clock King. I don't know why I have put this on, put him on this list, but I thought it would have been a good idea to put someone on this list. So Clock King, not a really useful character. I don't know why WB decided to make this character as well, but... I don't know, it's them. They they make whatever characters they want. Let's move on to number eight. Number eight, we have got... Um, we have got Joker's Daughter. Now, I don't... Now, this is... Joker's Daughter, she's a very good villain. She's... She's, she's the daughter of Harvey Dent. And I can see why she is a good villain, but... I'm like, since I since I don't know much about her, I put this on this list. So she's she's not that bad, but in my books, she's one percent bad. Okay, <laughs> let's move on to number five or six. Five, yes, yeah, si six. Right, five. We have got Egg Fu. Yep, if your villain is a giant egg with tentacles four legs then this is your villain Wonder Woman that's right egg foo just just another copyright let's move on to number five we've got egghead his plan is to just make everything like eggs he, he loves nothing but eggs he he just he won't not be. He won't be. He won't stop being obsessed about eggs. That's what he does, and that's why it makes him the worst character. Now I don't think I'm the. I don't think he's the worst because I like DC. Let's move on to number four. We have got Stomper. Now Stomper, she's. Well, first time I heard about her, I I thought she was you know like this man that's trying to stomp people's heads, but then I realized all she does is just stomp, so doesn't make her the best villain, but I can still add her on this list. Let's move on to number three. We've got Granny Goodness. Okay, she's a good villain. I can see why she she's a good villain, but um, I don't know why I put her on this list as well, but I just thought maybe if I added something as well, it'll be fun, so granny goodness. Let's move on to number two. We have got T. O. Morrow. That's right, T. O. Morrow. Who just wants to make everything tomorrow for him. Even T. O. Morrow bots. If you play DC Universe Online, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now let's throw in an honorable mention, because a lot of my top ten videos, I do a lot of honorable I would do a lot of honorable mentions. So let's just throw in an honorable mention. Number one, we've got Rainbow Raider. Number two, we've got Ten Eyed Man. Number three, we have got um, La Lanasha, whatever her name is, Lanasha. Number four, we have got, um, Mongol. Number five. 
Um, I don't know. Yeah, number five, you've got Firefly. You may hate me if I put that on the list. And number one for our list of top ten worst DC supervillains ever to exist, we have got... Wait, um... <laughs> Sorry, guys. We have got... Telemark Man. Tele... Yeah, Telemark Man. Wait, I am just kidding. I am just kidding. Now, don't... Don't... Click away, I'm just kidding. This is this is not real. Um, this is a real character, but I'm just kidding. We have got Um wait. We've got Prometheus. Prometheus was punished by the gods for giving the gift of knowledge to man. He was sent down to the bottles of the underworld hellish earth and pecked by birds, and to suffer just like all the beasts. So that's how he became the Prometheus. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, favorite, comment, and I will see you in my next video. See ya, and keep on the Justice League side.